Hi friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. This is lecture number 2 and today we are going to study DC Harmonics Analysis. To understand this topic, we will take an example of device whose output is DC. Let's take an example of rectifier. Rectifier is a device which converts AC into DC. So, in case of rectifier, our desirable output is DC and AC is our undesirable output. Let's have a look at this waveforms. This is the output of a rectifier and this output of a rectifier can be represented as some of this DC component, this fundamental component, this second harmonic component and so on. We know that any sinusoidal wave can be represented by Fourier series. That's why this waveform is represented as sum of all these components. Now see this fundamental component. This fundamental component has one complete cycle from 0 to 2 pi. While in case of second harmonic component, it has two complete cycles from 0 to 2 pi. It means the frequency of the second harmonic component is twice as that of fundamental component. Similarly, the frequency of third harmonic component is three times as that of fundamental component. Similarly, we will get four cycles from 0 to 2 pi in case of fourth harmonic component and so on. Now output of a rectifier is DC. That's why only this DC component is desirable, while all other components are undesirable. We can write the output voltage of rectifier as per Fourier series expression. It gives V naught T is equals to A naught plus sigma N is equals to 1 to infinity A N cos N omega T plus B N sin N omega T. And V naught can also be written as V naught is equals to A naught plus sigma N is equals to 1 to infinity C N sin N omega T plus phi N where C N is A N square plus B N square and square root of whole where phi is 10 inverse A N by B N. Now expand this expression by putting N is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. What we get? We get output voltage is equals to A naught plus C1 sin 1 omega t plus phi 1 plus C2 sin 2 omega t plus phi 2 plus C3 sin 3 omega t phi 3 and so on. The RMS value of this DC component is A naught. The RMS value of this sinusoidal component is C1 by root 2. The RMS value of the second harmonic component is C2 by root 2. RMS value of this third harmonic component is C3 by root 3. Sorry, C3 by root 2. So, now we have to find the RMS value of this output voltage. For this, what we have to do? We have to square and add all these individual RMS values. And after that, take the square root of whole. On doing so, we get V naught RMS is equals to A naught square plus 1 by 2 C1 square plus C2 square plus C3 square plus dot 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 so on. If we take this 1 by 2 inside, then we can also write it this equation as A naught square plus C1 by root 2 square plus C2 by root 2 square plus C3 by root 3 square plus so on. So, taking this A naught on left hand side, we get V naught RMS square minus A naught square under root of whole is equals to 1 upon 2 C1 square plus C2 square plus C3 square plus dot 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 under root of whole. We can clearly see that all these components C1, C2, C3 plus dot 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 so on all these components are undesirable component. 
because my desirable component is only this A0. Now this undesirable component is called harmonic voltage. So we get the expression for harmonic voltage. Harmonic voltage is equals to V0 RMS square minus A0 square is equals to VOH where VOH is harmonic voltage. Now divide both LHS and RHS of this expression by A0. We get this expression. Now in this slide we get two important expressions. One is V0 RMS square minus A0 square and square root of whole is equals to VOH and that is equals to harmonic voltage. And second is VOH by A0 under root V0 RMS square by A0 square minus 1. These two expressions are very important. On the basis of these two expressions, we will derive some more important expressions in next slide. Now we will find other important expressions on the basis of these two formulas. First one is form factor. Form factor is equals to RMS value of output voltage upon DC component and that is equals to V0 RMS by A0. Second one is voltage ripple factor. VRF that is equals to harmonic voltage VOH by A0. Let's take a case. If harmonics are absent in the output voltage, it means we get the desirable output. In case of desirable output, it means that these all harmonic voltages are zero. Only in that case, we get the desirable output. So, to get the desirable output, or for the condition harmonics are absent, we will put VOH is equals to zero. If we put this VOH is equals to zero in this expression, then we get V0 RMS is equals to A0, that is desirable component. Now, what is voltage ripple factor in this case? So here we can easily see that harmonic voltages are zero. It means my voltage ripple factor will be equals to zero. Now, what is form factor in this case? See the expression for form factor. Here, V0 RMS is equals to A0. Putting this, we get form factor is equals to 1. It means if harmonics are absent or my output voltage is pure DC. In that case, V0 RMS is equals to A0. Harmonic voltages are 0. Voltage ripple factor is equals to 0. Form factor is equals to 1. Now let's have another case. If harmonics are present, it means we get a distorted output that is not pure DC. So in this case, harmonics are present. When harmonics are present, then we can say that VOH is greater than zero. So here VOH is greater than zero. Now if we put this VOH in this expression, then we will get V0 RMS is greater than A0. It means we get output RMS voltage that is greater than A0. Now what is voltage ripple factor in this case? Voltage ripple factor is equal to VOH by A0. Here VOH is greater than 0. That's why voltage ripple factor will be greater than 0. Now what is form factor? Form factor in this case is V0 RMS by A0. And we know that V0 RMS is greater than A0. That's why form factor is greater than 1. 
so these are the important expressions and you must remember them that's all about this video i hope you like this video thank you jashiram if you got the knowledge and concepts from this video then please like the video and subscribe the channel you can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming video thank you